Thank you, Somerville Media Center, for this opportunity. My name is Mary Jo Rossetti, and I stand before you, Somerville, asking for your support as I seek re-election to the office of Alderman at large. This is not easy work. However, I feel I have the experience, energy, and time needed to keep up to date on all the issues we are confronting. Whether it's assuring the adoption of a strong neighborhood-enforced community benefits ordinance, continuing to prioritize affordability by enhancing adherence of all developers to our 20% inclusionary housing zoning legislation, assuring a financially responsible completion of the high school project currently underway, or, closing, or closely scrutinizing the annual budget, or analyzing the administration's second attempt at overhauling our citywide zoning code. I vow to be the voice of the people. As the Chair of Legislative Matters, I have led the effort in the adoption of a Home Rule petition, which would allow Somerville, for the very first time, the ability to request and accept funding from developers to offset the $50 million bond in relation to the Green Line Extension Project. I additionally challenged both our Finance Department as well as the Massachusetts Department of Revenue to, for the first time in history, allow a community to apply one-time real estate profits to lower the principal of our bond. The recent seal of the greater than 10-year vacancy of the Powder House Community School was a long time coming. The unanticipated state-mandated $50 million local contribution toward the completion of the Green Line extension was a first in the Commonwealth's history. I made sure the state was reminded of this unprecedented monster cost. To the surprise of the administration, my argument was accepted by the state and the principle of the bond was reduced. This is but one example of my persistency. During our recent budget talks, I submitted a board resolution requesting the administration bring to the table the president of the Board of Aldermen, who would together negotiate with the mayor Tufts University's upcoming pilot agreement. A pilot agreement is a contract signed by both the mayor and, in this case, the president of Tufts University. It's a mutual agreement of certain terms for payment in lieu of taxes. The Board of Aldermen has not been privy to this discussion in the past. However, it is my opinion that with the greater than $2 billion endowment, Tufts can and must do better with its contributions to our community. I am proud to represent my colleagues of the Board of Aldermen as I serve on the High School Building Committee. Many of you know, when I had the honor and trust of all Massachusetts as their president of the Massachusetts Association of School Committees, I represented our entire state traveling the country, advocating in the best interests of children and families. And now as a member of the Somerville High School Building Committee, it is my honor to work together with local educational leaders to continue to demonstrate the exemplary efforts that we rate at the top of our matrix. By not playing children off against each other, and by standing up for programs and services when others would force us to cut back. And, as a member of the Board of Aldermen, there is that special part of our job. The one that never leaves us. The part where we are always worried about our community's families, our health and safety workers, our DPW employees, our volunteers, our senior citizens, our city's youth, and so very many others. Are they safe? Are they getting what they need? What does their future hold for them? Can we assure our neighbors that their money is being well spent, and will there be enough next year? As one of your at-large aldermen, I have strived to be my best by giving advocacy a good name and using it in the best interests of you, the taxpayer. It has been an honor to have served you in this past term. I do my homework on every issue. I come to meetings prepared, and it is with extreme pride that I share with you the recent endorsement of the Somerville Labor Coalition, accounting for nearly 600 members in our community. And now I humbly ask you for your consideration of my continuing to represent you over the next two years. 
Together, we can make good things happen.